Yeah, baby! That's what I'm talking about! All day long! Let's get marks now. Woo What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Life by the Bow. And today, we're doing something really, really special. Especially because I have my dad here with me. We also have our longtime family friend, Mark, here. And of course, Nick behind the camera. And today, we're taking our boat and we're traveling to a different country. We're going 150 miles northeast to the Bahamas and we're going after yellowfin tunas today. So, never done this before. A lot of speculation, a lot of planning in our minds and hopefully we can just make this trip come together because it will be absolutely insane. But first things first, we're gonna go to Angler Eddie's. We're gonna get some live baits. And from there, we're going straight to Bimini, checking into the island, clearing customs. And from there, we're going tuna fishing and we're gonna end off the day in Freeport. So, let's get to it. Here we go. All right, guys, so we're here at Angler Eddie's right here. Got Eddie loading us up with some pilchards. We have two types of baits today. We have the live pilchards, and then we also have some dead sardines. Obviously, live bait's always key, but we're gonna make sure to have both today. But if you guys ever need bait, you ever need tackle, Angler Eddie's right here on Tavernier Creek, this is the place, man. They got it all. They got goggle eyes, pilchards, dead baits, artificial baits, hooks, leaders, just about anything and everything you need. Super good people, highly, highly suggested. And we're gonna have a Veil Performance gear here real soon, so make sure to come check them out. All right, next stop, Bimini. So we are officially in the Bahamas and like we mentioned earlier, we're in an entirely new country. So therefore we have to check in with customs. Um, once we check into customs, then we're going to head north to the tuna grounds and hopefully we can find them. Basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking for birds and um, these tunas, they're pushing up bait fish and as the tunas push up the bait fish, the birds swoop down and eat the baits. So if you can find the birds, you can typically find the tuna. And I mean, we got the bait, got the rods, we got just about everything. Um, the weather isn't so great, but we're here. And we're gonna keep on chopping away at it. And if it happens today, it's gonna be really cool. But we're gonna go check in and then uh, head north. So let's do it. That's the fish right there. Yeah, 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 he's wrapped around it. You know it's a big fish when it's doubling over like that. Oh, I pray to God that shark doesn't get him though. <laughs> That's the whole point is to get him away from the sharks. You saw how big that shark was that came up to the boat? Oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> See the bend in that rod right there? Eight years I've had this right here. Key Largo Custom Rods, baby. Eight years. Never broken a guide, never broken this rod. None of them, man. They're my go-to. Made down in Isla Mirada, too. Good people making good rods for hopefully a good fish. Fortunately, the fishing was fantastic. We managed to find these tuna schools all day long. And we had the rods bent all day long. But unfortunately, the sharks aren't too far behind. 
These sharks follow these tuna schools and basically prey on the weak. So as soon as you hook a fish, that fish is putting out signs of distress, which these sharks prey on. They literally sit right underneath the boat and they wait for you to get that fish boat side. And then as soon as it's at its weakest point, it goes in for the kill. Unfortunately, we had to deal with that all day long. We didn't have tackle heavy enough to bring up these fish faster than the sharks could get to them. But it's all part of it. It's part of the game. That's fishing. Sharks, unfortunately, are something that you're always going to have to deal with wherever you're fishing and especially when you're fishing for these tunas. So finally, towards the end of the day, we managed to get in a school of fish where the sharks weren't as bad. Fox, he's got a yellow fin. Real, Nick. Real, 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 real. Just pick it up, start recording. All you gotta do is pick it up and record. Go, Nick. Go, 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 go. Perfect. Come on, Nick. Get him. Get him. Come on. Came all the way here. Been getting sharked all day. Come on, Nick. Lift up that rod and see if you can crank. Come on, baby. Come on. There you go. No, he's right here. You got him. You got him. Watch the line. Rod's on. Oh, damn it. Tip wrap. Ah. Go, go, go. Just got to get his head up, Nick. Yeah, baby! That's what I'm talking about! All day long! Let's get marks now. Woohoo! Bring him out from underneath the boat. Come on, Mark. Come on, Mark. You got him. You got him. He's right here. Come on. He's right here. Bring him up. Bring him up. There you go. On the spinning rod, too. Come on, Mark. You got him. Get his head up so I can put a gaff in him. Back up. Woo! -hoo! Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Caught one and gaffed him. <laughs> Woo! That one's a black fin. Or wait, oh, is that a yellow? Black? Yeah. Is that a black that's fin? A black? Yeah, I think that one's a black fin. That's still a stud yeah. fish right there. I'll take him. Black fin and a yellow fin right there, baby. Good job, Mark. You wouldn't believe how much planning and preparation went into a trip like this, you know, between making sure your boat's up to par, having the ice, having the live baits, having the dead baits, having the tackle, and not to mention we're traveling to an entirely different country in the middle of a pandemic by boat. So between all the paperwork, all the preparation, and then traveling 200 miles and then we finally get there, we're hooked up to these fish and getting sharked all day. The fact that we finally got one in the boat, I cannot tell you how rewarding it felt. But the sun was sinking, so we decided to head north back to Freeport and wrap it up for the day. However, as we were running there, we noticed a big frigate bird getting down on the surface. So we threw an artificial bait right underneath him, and the next thing we know, we're hooked up to a 30-pound mahi. Nice bolt. Get that rod out of the way. What a day, man. Powering down the rig because we are done. I mean, we have been on this boat from sun up to sunset. 
but I gotta tell you, it was well worth it. Came here to do this trip to the Bahamas to catch yellowfin tuna. And we did just that. Not as many as we wanted. Feeding sharks all day, but at least we didn't come home empty handed. And at the end of the day, all I care about is the fact that we caught this fish. Reason why is because this is my first time ever doing this. It's like anything, you know, it takes practice. And I gotta say, you know, I was humbled, but at the end of the day, it was a huge learning experience. And I'm glad we didn't catch a ton of tuna because it just keeps it real. I mean, you could have the biggest boat, you can go wherever you want, but that doesn't mean that you're always going to catch the fish that you want. But anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get to bed, guys, because it has just been such a long day. We'll see you guys back at the house and we'll be cleaning up that tuna and putting together a really good recipe. It is guys I wouldn't say the trip went as successful as we wanted it to go but feeding off that we have all these different species of fish you know which are really really cool this one right here this is a mahi mahi this is one of my favorite fish to catch um, just because they taste so good they fight good they jump they make hard runs and not to mention I mean they're just absolutely beautiful with the blues the greens the yellows and then these are both tunas, but both different types of tunas. Um, this right here is a yellowfin tuna, and this is a blackfin tuna. Though they look really, really similar, um, there are some differences. Obviously, the yellowfin has the yellow fins, and the black fins, they have black fins. The yellow fins actually get a lot bigger than the black fins. The black fin is very common here in the Florida Keys, but this time of year, a lot of these yellow fins are running in the Bahamas and they can get very big, a lot bigger than this. Um, you know, you can typically always catch these two in the Florida Keys, the black fin and the mahi mahi, but the yellow fin was what we were after. And we've never had yellow fin tuna on the show, so we're gonna compare the taste between a black fin and a yellow fin. So, if you guys are interested in a little cooking, stay tuned. So if you guys have been following us here on the channel from the very beginning, um, we catch a lot of blackfin tuna. And um, blackfin tuna is great. It's one of my favorite fish to eat. And um, it's a sushi grade fish. So therefore, I mean, you can eat it raw. There's so many different things that you can do with it. But one thing I know is that yellowfin tastes amazing. It's at least what I've heard. So I'm really, really excited um, to taste a fresh yellowfin straight out of the ocean and um, compare the two. But getting to spend time with my dad, you know, our good family friend Mark, I mean, to me is just a huge bonus because these are memories that, you know, I'm gonna have for a lifetime. And the coolest part is, is that we filmed all of it. And one day this is something that I'm gonna be able to show my children. So definitely an amazing trip. And dang, this right here doesn't get any better than that in addition to everything you guys have already seen. So, let's get up to the kitchen, let's get cooking. You see me smiling on the outside, but I'm crying inside. I have been bugging Clay to take me yellowfin tuna fishing for the last few months. And of course, the time he decides to go, I couldn't make it because I had to work. But we do have some news at the end of the video that you guys have to stay tuned until the end to hear because I don't think Stephanie is gonna be missing out here anymore. No, stop giving hints. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, so, what do we, yeah, tell us what we're eating. Let's let's just jump right in. So, 
We love the recipe that we did the last show, but I felt like we were missing the right fish. I didn't like it with the snapper, so now I'm just gonna do it with our tuna because I feel like it, just all the ingredients will really just pair nice with the fish. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create my marinade. Some of the ingredients I'm gonna be using is some soy sauce, some lemon, Clay and I's favorite. Um, we're gonna have some ginger, garlic, red pepper, and lastly, some salt to taste. Then you're gonna stick your fish in your marinade, let it sit in the fridge for about 15 to 30 minutes, pull it out, and then it's ready to cook. Tuna's ready. <laughs> so, I just have to admit, this is going to taste absolutely delicious because while it's been marinating, I've been sneaking a few bites here and there. And the reason being is because you can eat tuna raw. It's absolutely delicious, but they both taste real good. So let's get to cooking. And this time when I do this recipe, I'm actually going to just sear the fish. Like I said, you can eat it raw. So we are going to sear it for probably about 20 seconds each side, throw it on a plate, and voila, we've got our tuna plate. So my fish is done, now I'm just gonna garnish it. And I'm using some sesame seeds and some green onions. And then I've also added a little dish of some Thai chili sauce. And it really just adds that extra flavor. And if you guys wanna follow this recipe, you're just gonna have to look in the description below. And we have a step-by-step -step instructions on how to do it. So the bigger pieces are the yellow fin and the smaller pieces are the black fin. That's how I was able to differentiate. He I did cut all them. the cup. Yeah, he did yeah, all I, the cutting. I cut them that way just to know the difference. Mm -hmm. But first things first, let's just see how this recipe compares. So much better with the tuna. Day and night. Versus the cabrera. Oh my gosh, so much better. Very, mm. very good. That's black fin. Now I'm trying mm. yellow fin. What do you think? Do you really taste a huge difference? I mean, I taste like a, just a slight difference, but nothing crazy. Yeah, not a huge difference. Very slight, very small. Mm -hmm. But that just goes to show you how good blackfin really is. Yeah. One thing I was thinking about, it was a small yellow fin, so maybe when they get bigger, they get a little fattier. Mm. Maybe the bigger mm. yellow fins taste a little better, but as far as for the small ones, I mean, practically the same, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it's crazy, as an entrepreneur, I've always thought things in my head and I've been able to bring them to life and make it reality. And that's exactly what this tuna trip was. I've been seeing everybody do it and I've just started thinking to myself, I, I went into this blind. I didn't go with anybody that knew how to do this type of fishing. I just did my research, Googled, looked on YouTube and I figured it out and we went over there and we got exactly what we were after. So that is amazing, that is so cool to me. And um, the fact that I got to do it with my dad, I mean, it's something I will never forget. But moving on, I don't wanna rant too much. Like we have mentioned, um, we do have some news for you guys. So I'll let you go ahead and tell everybody. So pretty much I'm at a point where I'm gonna start taking some time off of work and joining in on the YouTube. Mm -hmm. So I am just going to be on every show here on out, not just cooking, but fishing too. I'm super pumped and I am not missing another yellowfin tuna fishing trip. That's right. <laughs> we are going to be doing it again yeah. because we're going back there full force. We're going into this YouTube channel full force. Oh yeah. Um, we're not giving up. We're gonna keep on chopping away. But with that being said, it's very important, you know, if you guys could please comment every video, yeah. like every video, yeah. subscribe if you're not already subscribed because that's just showing YouTube that, hey, what we're doing is something good. But I think we've been talking enough. We're gonna yeah. let you guys go. Yeah. We're gonna finish this delicious tuna and man, it does not get any better than this video <laughs> right here. Look Does forward not. to more Bahamas trips, more Mahi Mahi, and more, more tunas, Stephanie. And more Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> until, Bye guys. Until the next video. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs>